Today, we present online TSM deployed to FPGA on the Ultra 96 V2 board. To begin, what is TSM? The Temporal Shift module aims to provide efficient video understanding. It does so by combining the efficiency of a 2D CNN backbone with a low-cost shift operation to capture temporal relationships across frames of the video. In this demo, we use online TSM with the MobileNet V2 backbone to provide real-time video inference. On the right, you can see a diagram of the online shift operation. Across each frame, we take the first section of channels and shift them from one frame to the next. For the MobileNet V2 backbone, you can see how we modify the bottleneck to accomplish this. The blue box is the online shift operation. For every input, we then take the first 1 8 channels of that input and place them in the shift buffer. The shift buffer's current contents from the previous frame is then shifted into the first 1 8 channels of what was our current input. This input then continues down the normal bottleneck structure. To deploy online TSM to FPGA, we utilize Xilinx Vitus AI to quantize all weights and activations from float32 to int8, as well as quantize all convolution operations for running on the DPU IP block. All shift operations, however, are run on the CPU. To split computation between the CPU and DPU, we pipeline our model such that the shift operations are isolated. This results in a mobile net v2 structure seen at the bottom of the screen. The input resides in DPU memory and is therefore copied from DPU to CPU, a shift operation applied, and the shifted and unshifted input copied back to DPU to continue inference. This results in a mobile net v2 structure seen at the right. Here we see our input kernel followed by our first three bottleneck layers. The input takes in our current frame and the bottleneck layers take in both the shifted into the shift concat input, as well as the unshifted input into the input node. This continues for all bottleneck layers within MobileNet V2. When deploying this model to Ultra 96 V2, we consume about 10.6 watts while running TSM, and the board consumes about 9.7 watts when TSM is not running. Here we see a demo of online TSM running on the Jester dataset. As you can see, we consume about 10.3 watts, can recognize the swipe gestures as well as the other gestures within the dataset. There is some overlap between similar gestures, such as the zoom in with two fingers versus full hand gestures. However, we are able to successfully run the Jester demo at about 37 frames per second where frames per second is the throughput of inference, pre-processing, and post-processing. 